Have you ever heard the term Coke can flashlight? Well, if not, this is what they're talking about. Now, I don't have a Coke can to actually put next to it. There's my America beer. But this flashlight is roughly the size of a Coke can. Now, it has three Cree LEDs. It's powered by four 18650 batteries and puts out a whopping 3,660 lumens. This thing is a monster. In my previous video of the Claris G20, which in the title I put monster, um, I thought that flashlight was extremely impressive, and it is, don't get me wrong. In fact, I've taken it, um, I've taken it hunting, I've taken it bow fishing, I've done a lot of things with that Claris G20, and it's always impressed me. I'm going to show you this one compared to the Claris G20 here in a minute. Man, this thing is, is pretty spectacular. The Claris G20 is only 3,000 lumens. This one comes in at 660 more. So you get to see that here in a minute. Let's go through some of the brightness modes and run times. The turbo mode is 3,660 lumens and runs for 120 minutes. High is 2,060 lumens and runs for 190 minutes. Medium is 470 lumens, which is quite a drop from high, and runs for 15 hours. Low is 46 lumens, runs for 123 hours. Firefly is 0.5 lumens and runs for 98 days. And then it also has a strobe mode at that 3,660 lumens, and it will strobe for 234 minutes. So if you've ever used a through-night flashlight, the settings and the modes on this are very similar to any of their other flashlights single click to turn the flashlight on. If you hold, it cycles through the modes. From any mode, if you double click, it goes immediately to the turbo setting. Double click again and it goes into strobe. Press once and turn it off. Now the Thru-Night TN30 is gonna run you about $100 at the time of filming this video. Compared to the Claris G20, this is about $10 more expensive than that. However, when you see me take this outside and do the comparison, this is quite a bit brighter. I'm also going to compare it to another in the through night family, the Catapult V5. That Catapult's much more of a thrower than this is, um, and you'll see that demonstrated here. Let's take them outside and show you the comparison. All right, so we're going to compare the TN30 to two other fantastic flashlights. This is the Through Night Catapult V5 and it is I believe 1100 lumens and it is primarily a spotlight. I mean it'll throw it out there if you haven't seen the video go check that out. And this is the Claris G20. This one is 3000 lumens. We'll see how the 3600 of the TN30 holds up. Alright first let's do the G20. If you've seen my review of this I called it the monster because it lights up everything. Um, no real hot spot, as you can see. I've used this bow fishing, and it's fantastic. I mean, it lights up all around the side of the boat. It's, it's amazing. So that is the 3,000 lumens of the Claris G20. And you can see the bottom of the spill there. There's the hot spot. And there's the top of the spill. That cabin is about 40 yards away. Let's look at the Catapult V5. Alright, here's the Catapult V5. And as I mentioned, that is a thrower. You can see the laser beam on that thing there. Um, those trees behind that cabin are probably an additional, I don't know, 20, 30 yards from the front of it. And um, lights them up all day long. This thing, if you didn't see the video, it reached out to 200 yards with no problem. All right, let's see the through night TN30. And here's the through night TN30. So very similar to the Claris G20. There's the bottom of that spill. It does have a nice hot spot in the middle. And right there's the top of that spill. Let's bring the G20 out. Here's the G20 on the right, and here is the through night TN30 on the left. And you can see that is much, much brighter. These both just came off the charger. 
3,000 lumens over here, and that is 3,600 lumens on the left. All right, so that's it, the through night TN30. This probably dethrones the G20 from Claris as the monster designation that I gave that one. Um, I'm gonna have to give it to this one. This thing is a beast. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Lots more videos to come. Hit subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.